Hello. Good evening. In times that are not good for the Roma people. My name is Marco De Knudsen. I am the General Secretary of the Roma Nation. The Roma Nation virtual online system that is established to create a Roma Nation with the right representation. But this is not the issue today. We have some very important demands to make regarding the Ukraine and the Roma situation. We, the Roma people, we are good that we can shed our blood for the Ukraine and the Russian side. I see pictures on Facebook by Ukraine men in represented by Roma. We are good to wear your uniforms to die for you. But if our families, our Roma families try to flee as refugees, they are not allowed to enter your trains to get away from the war zones and to reach the borders. We demand by the Ukraine officials and by all countries that are in dialogue with the, the Ukraine immediately to ensure the security and safety of the Roma people living on the territories of the Ukraine and are now on the run to flee for their lives. Don't make us again fall as first on your war grounds and shed our blood for you. This has been always been our history. As loyal to the countries where we live, we always have been part of the army. But today, today it shows again every war is the same. We are currently not imagined by the Ukraine nation as part of them. Old anti is coming up and is trying to let us die in war zones. Please ensure and make pressure on the Ukraine government and officials to let the Roma flee with the Ukraines. Please, we have getting reports from Roma groups being 300 kilometers away on train stations and are not allowed to enter the trains. But Ukraines are entering it even with their dogs and cats. So it shows again, a Roma life is less worth than the life of a fucking dog. Excuse me this word. But this is just my feeling. After 30 years of reporting on so many wars and conflicts, to see again what's happening. We are completely against war. The Roma people never began a war in their whole history of thousand years. Officials, please make pressure on Ukraine and their people to let the Roma flee. This is against European laws and regulations and against the human rights. Let families flee from the war zones and let them enter the countries. This is the second problem. We're getting contradicting reports from Poland, from the border to Poland and from the border to Romania. We are currently don't have the specific information with, with site is avoiding the Roma people to leave or to enter. But it's a very dangerous situation and for that we had a nice, very good report from a friend of mine and we will post the link he've got, especially for people in Romania, we can make it possible that some Roma from Romania enter to the Ukraine to bring the Roma families over the border. It's just a question of a, hundred, a couple of hundreds of meters, but this is not
passable from the one side, but from just from the other. We demand first let Roma flee from Ukraine and not be stopped by Ukrainian officials to enter trains that bring them to the borders. Secondly, we demand Ukraine let the Roma out, let them cross the border to Poland and to Romania. To Romania and to Poland, we demand as European nation, as part of the European Union, as part of the killing machine during the Second World War, where Roma Holocaust killed more than one million people of us, don't let us die on the other side of the border. Let us into the countries and let us cross the borders. These are our two demands and we stop now the video so that people can start again watching it and that we can include the link. Roma people, the next video is in Romanes with a couple of other messages. But one other thing, in the first three days we've got a report that a Roma, that a Ukraine Roma army group and entered a Russian tank. Yeah, they, got, they organized through fight the power of the Russian tank. And I saw so many people of young, proud Roma men in Ukraine uniforms try, ready to defend their countries. And on the other side, their country still sees them as gypsy. And this is anti ciganism And this is part of that what you Ukrainians need to learn if you want to be part of the European Union. There is anti ciganism This is the name for the hate you have toward the gypsies, the Tsigans, the Roma people. And this is not tolerable. This is a this is a kind of racism and discrimination that it's not tolerated within the European Union that you so barely want to enter. Goodbye. This will not be the last time you hear from the Roma nation. We are pushed to move now ahead of our timetables, but this is why we are creating the Roma nation, that we, the Roma nation, everyone, one man, one woman, one voice.